Hey guys, good morning, happy Sunday. It is 5 a.m. on the dot here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Uh, I hope everybody's staying healthy. Um, the first thing I would like to say, I'd like to give everyone out there a big thank you. Um, I got some notifications from Google and from YouTube, and I've been approved for uh, to be a YouTube partner to have my to uh, turn on the monetization for my my videos as soon as I figure out how to do it. And uh, I, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Bo of the Fifth Column and all of his viewers. I, I really don't think I'd be where I'm at right now um, if it wasn't for for him and his viewers. Uh, I, I appreciate you guys. You're a very intelligent, uh, diverse group of people who constantly amaze me. Um, I'm honored to have you guys watch my videos. Thank you very much. All right, on to the news. All right, so as you guys have seen, I, I had a couple of days there where I was getting seriously worried as to where uh, these accusations of, uh, about China was, was going to head. Um, the defense part, the defense department, um, pretty much blaming China for the the coronavirus. Um, it had me worried initially. It it did. I I just I just I I, I don't usually. I'm not a person that goes by hunches like Donald Trump or anything. But I just really uh, there's a lot of stuff uh, indicators I keep seeing that make me think that uh, if if we're not careful, if our president continues to be belligerent and uh, look for a scapegoat, we could end up finishing out this year in a uh, precarious position. Um, you know, I think, the, I think the last thing we need right now is military uh, operations or, or war. All right, so in his briefings yesterday, uh, of course, he uh, went at China again. What basically what he did yesterday? It was it, he basically threatened China uh, in his public briefing, flat out uh, threatened them that if they did this intentionally. And there is okay. Let me say first too. There is no no indication that they did this intentionally. There's a question whether it's the wet markets or the laboratory. Um, they came out hard with the initial evidence about the uh, supposed evidence that they had uh, sources uh, about a laboratory, which I, I, I honestly, flat out, I just don't believe it. And, um, and then they, they emphasized that it wasn't, it, it wasn't intentional, that it wasn't uh, an intended weapon. Um, but that's not stopping Donald Trump. I mean, no, he's the only one he, pretty much at this point. I think he's the only one that's bringing up the, uh, possibility that China intentionally did this as a, as a, as a weapon, as some sort of plan. And it's, again, I think, you know, we have to realize here that China is a superpower. Um, and for him to to scapegoat his uh, his lack of acting back in January and February to, to to scapegoat them, it's just it's a dangerous game he's playing. I really I believe if if China's to blame, basically it is what it is. Like I don't want to keep referencing, you know, I don't want to keep referencing Bo, but in a couple of his videos, like he was saying, I think the most important thing right now is to deal with the situation at hand. Um, it, it, like, like people say, it is what it is. Um, it's here. We have to deal with it. Um, where it came from more than likely was an accident. And, um, we'll look into that after the, the initial threat is over. But anyway, back to him threatening China, um, or China, as he calls it. Um, he, he interrupted his, his uh, secretary. I can't remember what her name is, Jinx or Jenks, uh, a lady. He interrupted the, the 
the, her talking to, to point out and to play to the crowd as usual. Does anybody really believe these numbers? And he pointed to Iran and to China's uh, death toll numbers. Now, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I could see, I could see, especially uh, the, the more uh, a country like Iran that's a little more uh, introverted, I guess, for lack of a better word, or protected. Um, it's possible. I mean, it's possible they could put out, you know, they, they might be downplaying their death num their death toll numbers. Um, I think Donald Trump's, um, his, the route he's going by already jumping to, to, th to threats, uh, threatening China is, is not the way, if we, if we want accurate information, which we need in this battle, against the pandemic, against the virus. We need accurate information. If we, if we would like China to go along and with the rest of the world and help us out with accurate information, I don't think threatening them, pointing fingers at them, belittling, belittling them without evidence is the way to go. Um, I, I really think it, that should be left to the World Health Organization again um, to... to uh, to go through each country and get the accurate information. And, you know, Donald Trump's already, already thrown a monkey wrench in that too with his, his cutting off the funding to the WHO. But, um, so yeah, he, he, Trump went on his usual, um, rants yesterday. There was more, um, more targets. He was targeting the media again and Joe and sleepy Joe Biden, as he calls them. Um, oh, this is the, I forgot, I couldn't, re there was one last thing I wanted to talk about. Um, Trump actually came out and said that if it wasn't for him, I, I can't even, I can't even say this seriously. He, he really said this, if it wasn't for him, the world would have probably ended if he wasn't president. So he, he I can't believe, I cannot, like I said, it's amazing. Just when I think that He's done the most outrageous, said the most outrageous, uh, disgusting, whatever stuff. He, the ne it's the next day, and he tops it. Um, yeah, so he, he said that. He, he basically said that he thinks he saved the world. <laughs> ah, unbelievable. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's get to those polls in November. All right, guys, I'll be, I'll be back. Have a good Sunday.